all right guys welcome back to the channel uh obviously you don't like getting cold or you wouldn't click on this video today i want to talk about staying warm now i don't live in the upper midwest and and i very seldom hunt in single digits uh when i do i have an arctic shield suit just a cheap i think i paid a hundred dollars for it it's kind of noisy but when i get in those extreme situations it's worth that hundred dollars pretty inexpensive uh you can buy just the cheapest arctic shield suit and that don't come with all the pockets and stuff but anyway i'm talking about do you get cold in 30 and 20 degree weather and maybe maybe you've got a thousand dollar outfit but you find yourself still struggling uh, and maybe it's not that outfit, but maybe it's your whole system. So I want to tell you what I found through years of hunting in December in Kentucky. The key to staying warm is three parts. First part is moisture management. You've got to be able to pull your sweat away from your skin. The second layer is an insulation layer. It too needs to be polyester of some sort, a fleece that it also wicks moisture away from your body. And the third layer is a windproof. Uh, you've got the sweat off of you. Now you've got your insulation, you've got a warm spot. If your outer layer is allowing air to pass through it, it's allowing your heat to escape. So some things, and, and I bought nice stuff throughout the years and, and tried this and tried that. And I finally got it down, you know, I hunt from, was, a few people that come from the deep south that come up and hunt November, December, and, and they got some nice clothes, but they're missing an element somewhere in that setup. You know, either they got uh, good insulation, good moisture management, but they got nothing to block the wind to keep, the wind evaporates your heat faster than anything. Just a slight breeze, but no breeze at all. As long as, if you don't have a wind blocker, your heat just radiating out through that outer layer and it's gone and you're sitting there cold. So uh, I was gonna go over some of that. Now we all see the Under Armour and how high it is, uh, like the Under Armour 4.0. And, and if you can afford that, it's great stuff. Uh, it's a good thick base layer, performance base layer. But all that stuff is, is basically six to 10% spandex and most of it's polyester. Uh, what I have found as a good replacement it's nowhere near as high. It's probably half price. I bought this outfit at Bass Pro Shops, man, I don't know, 15 years ago. And it's basically like the same weight. You want the thickest, heaviest of these that you can find because the thickness of it is how far quickly it pulls the moisture away from your skin. And this brand here is Terramar. And I have looked them up. They are still available. I can't find them at Bass Pro Shops. But you can still find Terramar brand stuff. I mean, I think I, when I looked this up, this outfit now is about $80 for the outfit. Uh, when I bought it, I think it was on sale at Bass Pro Shops. So I get 50 bucks for it. So, I mean, it's went up some, but it's not that high. But it's a good heavy base layer that's thick. It's good thick, got a lot of weight to it. Now you can wear them little thin ones, and I wear those thin ones early. When it's 40, 50 degrees, I wear some of the thinner ones. But you don't want to spend 80 bucks on an outfit. And believe me, guys, I am a clothes uh, hoarder when it comes to hunting stuff. I try stuff all the time because I'm looking for better deals. Uh, my money's hard to come by, and, and I like to save a buck. And... That right there is getting worn out, and to be honest with you, I've lost almost 50 pounds since I bought those, so they're a little saggy on me. So I got looking around, and I was like, I couldn't find those when I was looking uh, a couple years ago. Uh, me and my wife went in Sam's Club to get some stuff. I walked down their thermal underwear aisle, and I'll show you what I found. They carry a line of stuff, a line of performance, and this one right here ain't so much a performance. This is a good 40, 50 degree suit their black one it's a brand called omni wool and what this is is a polyester merino wool blend and it, and it works pretty good this this underneath a, a wind suit a windproof suit at 40 50 degrees i'm pretty comfortable uh, but they also make for colder weather again sam's club omni wool this 
is a nice heavy performance base layer, the gray ones. That is a merino wool polyester mix. So it's got a little bit of insulation built in with that wool, but it also wicks your moisture away from your skin quickly and easily. And I think these are $19 and something a piece. So for 40 bucks, you can have a nice performance base layer that will pull your moisture away. I mean, uh, for half the price of the Terramar, which is half the price of the Under Armour, you're looking at a quarter of what Under Armour cost. And it might be just a very slight difference in the performance of them, but not that kind of money's worth difference to me. 40 bucks, Sam's Club. Or you can, look, you can get them on Amazon, Omni Wool. Merino wool, uh, these have held up really well. I wear these a lot just uh, early baseball season. I wore these underneath my pants and, and my jersey uh, coaching. Kept me warm. Well worth 40 bucks. You cannot beat it for $40. All right, the second layer is the insulation layer. And we've all got Bass Pro Shop Cabela's books. And we've seen these big heavy you know, extreme cold weather, and they work great. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they work absolutely fine. Problem is, it's about 100, I forget, I'd have to look it up, I hadn't looked these up in a while, but when I bought these, I think they were $80 a piece. So I got $160 in this outfit. And it's, uh, with insulation, it, this right here, I believe is a polyester blend. You get looking at this stuff, most of it, is 100% polyester. This is 97% polyester and 3% spandex. And there's your 3% spandex. You know, they can put all the fancy names on it like Polar Tech, but it's polyester. That's what it is. And what you look for in the insulation layer is thickness, okay? How thick is the rise of that clothing? Does it provide a cushion of air? And that's all you're doing is trapping air in there. And polyester does it. It's like a hollow feel, kind of like a fiberglass. Same thing, it's in your walls that insulates. It's very similar to that. It traps air in between its, you know, its material. And, and that's what you're doing. Your body heat gets stuck in there. So, again, I already own these. These are getting a little worn out. I put them in the scent crusher and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I didn't want to buy another pair. I didn't want to pay another $200. Uh, and I still wear these some, I ain't gonna lie. They are good article of clothing. But I got looking around, again, I'm always looking for a deal. Can you do it cheaper? Can you do it better? And you're gonna laugh at these next clothes because they don't look good. But you gotta remember, they're underneath there, okay? Again, Sam's Club, Walmart, a cheap, Sherpa fleece. Okay, I think I get 15 bucks for this quarter zip. And it's ugly. It's ugly, but nobody ever sees it. Again, 100% polyester. Good, thick material. Okay? Well, they didn't have a matching pair of pants. So guess what I did? Found the next best thing. Sherpa fleece that are pajama pants. Okay? 100% polyester. Of course, they made in China, like everything else. Heavy. Get 15 bucks for this. This and this, I mean, they're the thickest, heaviest, just, I mean, they're thick. It was the thickest I could find in this stuff. This $30 I spent on this, twice as warm as the Cabela's, because it's twice as thick, and it's the same material. It's polyester, it traps air. Literally, with that Omni wool, these, and a good windbreaking unit on the outside, I can hunt in 20 degree weather and be toasty with some hand warmers up for my fingers, and maybe my feet get cold. But uh, boot liner with a, a heated boot liner, I mean, that's how I roll. So go to Walmart, go anywhere. Go to Sam's Club, Target, you know, whatever's close to you. Winter clothes is coming out, you know. Big old heavy pair of woolly pajama pants and a Sherpa, you know, look for Sherpa or what I, I call it Sherpa, that's what they call this. Just a big old heavy fleece. The thicker, the better. Because 
it's not actually the weight of it it's the thickness or the nap of the materials what they call it in material world uh, if you ever done any sewing this is called nap that's the height the fabric is and that, that's what your insulation layer is 30 bucks toasty looks crazy yes when you're getting ready your wife's gonna look at you like what are you doing but i mean you're gonna put a suit over so it don't matter anyway be warm the longer you're warm the more steel you are the longer you can sit the better your chances of killing deer are okay now this right here is an unproven wind breaking suit i just got this good deal on it paramount paramountoutdoors.com says it's going to block the wind i don't know yet about this i give 140 dollars for the outfit and that ain't you know super cheap but for hunting clothes that ain't bad i mean you look at the price that sitka gear i mean i ain't got a thousand dollars to throw down on the outfit so this one here we're going to try out i believe it's going to be fine it has a layer of insulation on the outside but i'll be honest with you that that layer of insulation does you no good because it just it's the i bought it for the wind blocking this okay uh insulation fuzzy on the outside doesn't add any insulation value because the wind's going to wash all that heat off of it what i have found that works over everything now this is an old pair this is redhead tech windproof you can get this at cabela's bass pro whatever it's their tech windproof now when i bought this it didn't have the sentinel scent stuff this isn't no scent reduction this is just the original tech windproof they still make it but they added the sentinel to it and it is now i think 89 dollars a piece but if you watch it sometimes you can get it on sale for 69 dollars a piece so you're out 140 bucks for outfit these tech windproof over all that other stuff 20 degree weather ain't a problem i mean it's just it's no issue as long as you got good moisture management you got that insulation layer and then you got that wind blocking that locks it all in you're gonna stay warm so when you get looking for camo clothes uh you want something that's good the outer layer needs to be windproof if it's not windproof everything else you've done is wasted because all your heat's going to escape and that's just a jacket also on the vest in this i wear the vest sometimes another suit that used to be offered by bass pro shops and maybe they will again in the future but i've had really good luck with it it's basically the same thing this was their redhead 1856 fleece windproof they had a non-windproof which is a great base layer it's just a big old thick berber fleece outfit similar to those pants sometimes i wear it it's not quite as warm as the pajamas but it was cheap if they ever come back out with the 1856 fleece in the windproof it's almost just like the tech windproof suit works great so i mean if you're a guy on a budget like myself i hate to throw out a thousand dollars for an outer layer and then you get to the tree and realize i need more than this your system's either missing moisture management a good heavy layer of insulation in the middle and a windproof outer clothing that's what it takes if you want to stay warm those three things is what it takes to stay warm in 20 degree weather so i mean get on the internet and just put in windproof camouflage clothing see what it brings up sometimes you can find some off-brand stuff it might not be in the camo pattern you want but uh if it keeps you warm who cares again sharper fleece just Put it in Google, Sharper Fleece Pants, Sharper Fleece Pullover, uh, Pajamas, whatever. If you don't want to spend the $200 on the Cabela's Extreme Cold Weather System, it works, actually works better uh, than that. Now, I don't have the little leg stirrups and it's a little bulkier to get underneath your clothes. So it comes with some downsides, but for 30 bucks that I got in it, it was worth every penny of it because literally you can be like you're sitting in your chair at home uh, watching a football game warm if you do these things moisture management layer of insulation windproof outer layer do those three and you'll stay warm this winter i appreciate you watching if you would if you found this to be a help uh go and hit that subscribe button because as i learn stuff i'm gonna pass it on i mean that's what i do uh i've done this for the last 15 years i've used 
system similar to this before that you know i had big thick bulky insulation you buy all the insulate stuff you want if it doesn't stop the wind and it doesn't pull the moisture away from you you're gonna be cold take my word for it i wouldn't lie to you about this i take sitting in a tree in 20 degree sometimes sometimes single digits like i said in single digits what i would do to this system instead of that outer layer is i would put on that hundred dollar arctic shield suit and it's bigger and bulkier and, and I got to put an arm guard on to keep from hitting my bow. But at five degrees, it's worth that other hundred bucks. So if you hunt an extreme cold, just buy the cheapest Arctic Shield suit. They all block the wind and they all lock in your heat really well. But you need those layers of insulation under it and you need to be able to pull the sweat away from your body. Anyway, I just thought I'd give that to you. Uh, I hope this helps you this year to sit still, sit longer, kill more deer. Thanks for watching.